A couple of things to make you aware of is the networking capabilities. I can command and monitor this drive over the RS-45 Mobus signal, or by adding the card, I can monitor or command or Ethernet IP. I won't go into great detail over this, just want to make you aware. Now that I have set up all my motion profiles, I'm going to write these parameters to the drive. Simply click on Drive and write parameters to drive. Now that the drive is set up, we can try this out. If you want to monitor the status of the inputs, you can go to the digital I.O. screen. I can turn on an input and make sure I get a signal back. If you don't have inputs wired, we can still try this out. First thing we want to do is force the enable signal. My drive is enabled. Now let's take a look at the jog. You can jog this positive, or you can jog this negative. As you can see, it's moving. Let's try out some of the moves. So first, move zero. You should go to absolute position of five reps. Move one should go to an additional one rev, so this should go out to six and back to zero. Move two should go out to six revs, and if I have something to stop this, it would limit out on current. And move three should go out to absolute position of two revs and then back to move zero, which is absolute position of five revs. It's that simple. Next thing I want to show you is the alternate mode. So I have this in alternate mode and this is selected as analog to position. So based off of my analog command, my position is changing. A couple other features are the diagnostics. Here's where I can look at following error, bus voltage, actuator temp, and more, as well as input and output status. Also, fault luck. So if you do have errors, you can go online with the drive and look at fault history, which makes it really nice for troubleshooting. It also tracks how many occurrences of each fault. And finally, the oscilloscope for advanced troubleshooting. If you're not sure what's going on, you can use it for example to monitor position and current for advanced troubleshooting.